goes there. And then your oil cap. Oh. There we go. Put that aside. Remove the cover. Got the little nipples. Goes into the grommets. Pick them up. Alright. Like to have this off. Get some more room in there. Alright. Got all the pins out. It's got two more underneath. One here and one here. And it'll just pull up. See, it's that tight. Pull it up. Get that up out of the way. Now what you want to do is remove your O2 sensor. Got to disconnect it. Got the safety clip on it. Remove the four nuts. Place some lube on them. Penetrant beforehand. And remove those four. Okay, I got them off. They're 15 millimeters. However, they come off is fine. Don't, don't lose the gasket that's behind it. I can't remove them. Loosen up the O2 sensor, so I have to do it after I get it out. Can't get a good grip on it. Now you gotta go up from underneath. Okay, got it raised up. You want to remove these two bolts. They're 15 millimeters. They go into this pipe right here. One there. And one there, you take them out and this kinetic converter drops down. And then you got another O2 sensor right here. Unplug it. These uh, sensors will not come loose. So they're gonna get replaced. All right. So that's all set and done. Set and done and now we can lower down and pour our kinetic converter out of there. Got your new converter. Make sure you remove all the stickers off the new converter. Put your new gasket in there. Put some anesthes on your studs. Put your converter down in there. Make sure you get your gasket in there. Get your nuts started and your studs started and tighten them up. And you want to torque them to 35 foot pounds. And then you want to put your upper upstream O2 sensor and this is a brand new one because I couldn't get them out of the old one. So put that one in there. And then now you can put your cover back on and your engine cover and then raise it up and connect it underneath. Okay, got all your fasteners in for your front core support cover. Don't forget about those two little clips right here and there. Remove your oil cap, put your cover on. Make sure you push it into the two little nipples on over here. Put your cap back in. Put your bolt back in with the T27 Torx. And now we're gonna raise it up. All right, put your new gasket in. Put your two flange bolts in there. Put some anesthes on them. Tighten them up, tighten them up 35 foot pounds. Put your O2 sensor in there, tighten that up. Don't bear down on, just tighten it up. Cause you might have to remove it someday. And also make sure it's plugged in properly and put the little green clip back in there and make sure it's fastened so it's not hanging down against the exhaust or hanging down below. If you could hit something on, on, off the road or something. And that's it. You got a cat code, you might want to clear it. And that's it. This catalytic converter, it's split at the upper flange where it bolts against the cylinder head. There's nothing, no bracket or anything supporting it. So I think the bumps, potholes, and erodes make it bounce around too much and uh, cause it to crack. And that's it. If I helped you out doing this converter, that's great. If you could help me out by subscribing, I'd appreciate it. Thank you.